So, here we have a movie that's been on my watch list basically since I heard about it after the movie came out. I just, I just never gave it a chance because I, I honestly didn't know what to expect. Of course, I'm talking about A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. From what I understood, it was gonna be an Iranian vampire art house film. Although, as it turns out, it's not that much an Iranian movie, but rather an American movie shot in California, but directed by and starring Iranian Americans. And, you know, that's, that's all good for me. I don't care. So, uh, well, let's see. Um, so... What the hell is this movie about? Well, we follow this Iranian James Dean wannabe in a fictional, Iranian I presume, town called Bad City. Wow. He's living with his father, a, a cab driver turned junkie. Hello! <laughs> Not sure if he was actually a cab driver, but I feel like most of us will probably recognize this actor as Ranjit from How I Met Your Mother. But yeah, um, and, and then there's the girl, you know, the one that walks home alone at night. She's a vampire, and well, that, that's about it. I, I'm all for artsy foreign movies, but the biggest problem I had with this movie was that it was mostly just boring. Really, I had to watch this movie in, in two sittings. When I first started watching this movie, at one point I just kept dozing off because, you know, not, not that much was happening. I was like, oh, I can't stay awake. So I was like, you know, I don't want to ruin it. Let's just finish it the day after. So the day after I continued watching the movie and at one point the credits started rolling and I was like, really? That's it? Okay little disappointing, you know, given all the praise that this movie has received. The black and white feminist Iranian vampire western you've been waiting for. Well, wasn't really waiting for that. But hey, let's ignore all the acclaim for a minute and let me tell you what I thought of this movie. The thing I like most about this movie, without a doubt, and many of you will probably agree, it, it's the rich, high contrasted black and white cinematography, often with extreme shallow depth of field. The movie looks amazing and that's without a doubt the, the big show stealer. Almost every shot looks like a, a well crafted, you know, mini work of art. It's nice. Add to that an amazing soundtrack, there's, there's lots of scenes where the music is, is really put to the foreground and, and you end up with a fantastic 100 minute long music video. Whoops. And, and trust me, I'm, I'm really not saying this in a demeaning way, it's, it's really just how I experienced the movie. Really, for me, this, this movie just lacked almost any depth. Maybe all the, all the Iranian cultural references were lost on me. Then again, I also read reviews from what I assume are Iranians, or at least Iranian Americans, that say that this movie really didn't do anything for that, you know, for the Iranian culture. So, I don't know, and, and I guess the, the feminist aspect of this movie is that, you know, the vampire girl is, is out for justice against the, the mistreated women in, in Bad City. Okay. Or is it simply just seen as a feminist movie because it's both directed by and, and stars in a leading role women? You, you know, Iranian women. Iranian-American women. I, I, don't, I don't know, guys. You tell me. Style over substance is something that immediately came to mind while watching this movie. The whole neo-noir Sin City style graphic novel meets Eraserhead with elements of 50s juvenile delinquent movies and a Tarantino style selection of songs, it's great. It looks great, it sounds great, it's cool, it's, you know, it's great. I sometimes see people also referring to this one as partly a spaghetti western, but with that I, I, I can't really agree. That's really purely just because of the fact that, that these songs by Federal were used. And, and they are a band that, that made an art out of imitating Ennio Morricone's western scores. Their music is it's pretty amazing though really good. So yeah, without a doubt, the style is there. <laughs> I'm just really missing the substance. Really, the, the movie, it's it's highly stylistic and, and, and they did do a great job at creating this, this unique alternate reality. And you know, that did also kind of take away almost all of the scariness for me. You know, like, like in the traditional sense of a horror movie being scary, this really wasn't. I feel like the, the only reason it's labeled a horror movie is because it features a, a vampire. But going into this movie expecting a horror movie, that's, that's something you definitely shouldn't do.
On a completely unrelated note, but I just had to include it, the chubby cat was great though. <laughs> there were scenes where, again, nothing is really happening, but as long as the cat was in it, I was definitely at least somewhat entertained. <laughs> and besides that, I, I really don't know what else I can say about this one. I, I, I just keep coming back to, it looks amazing, but it lacks content. That's why, what I said earlier, style over substance, that, that perfectly describes this movie for me. And once again, don't get me wrong, I do not mean that in a demeaning way. It's just, I feel like this movie is way less interesting than most people made it out to be. Because really, people, both critics and audience, they seem to love it. And I, I myself, I, I definitely didn't hate it. I mean, this review might seem a little negative, but it's just, ah, it's a little frustrating because the movie looks so awesome and I, I just wish it was also a little more entertaining. I, I would have loved that movie if it was less boring and had a little more content. But hey, as you might know, I'm, I'm all open for discussion, so let me know in the comments why I might be all wrong about this movie. You know, let me know what you thought and you know, maybe I'll, I'll open my eyes and realize how amazing this movie actually is. Maybe not, maybe you guys didn't like it as well, but you know, let's talk about it. We'll see. Uh, until then, you guys have a nice day. And um, be safe when you walk home alone at night because uh, you never know what's gonna happen.